well hello people so today we're gonna talking about how to upload image into local storage so this is the final example that we can create in this tutorial there is several button here load image and then the plus button so this is for upload or add the image and then here is for load image after we are saving the image so let's just try this one click the button add and then pick the image from here let's just choose uh, several images that you can see here maybe we can take this for two image and then just click done so after we choose the image the image will be shown in here and we need to save this through this button okay this is the message that we can show in here so after we upload the image into the local storage so we need to click this load button to show in the image and then wait a moment then boom this is the image that we put into local storage so this is the final example that you can reach through this tutorial so without any further ado let's just do the show okay as you can see here i already created a new file for statful widget uh, with the name upload photo local storage and there is a several variable that i declare in here there is a list of image storage so this is the list of file that i want to load into the screen when i'm successfully to upload the image and then the this is the image picker list of asset so here is the list of assets when i'm trying to pick the image from my gallery of my phone and then this is the error variable then the next one is a uh, stat for loading indicator so when i'm trying to click this one the loading indicator will be rise now okay and then the icon plus this is uh, for adding or the pick your image into this area so let's go back to this one and there, this is the widget for container container will consist a uh, list view builder and here is when i click this load image so this loading step will be checked if the true then the widget indicator will be showing and if value of is loading is false that will be showing the text of load image and here is the container for showing the file from storage and the next one here for the floating action button when i click this button that will be navigate to this method this method will taking the show model form so and this button will call the load asset to showing the image picker so by the way when you are working with camera on your application so you need to allow camera function from your application so in order to allow the camera you need to set in manifest here we go yes the thing that you need to set is write external storage because we want to write or put image into the local storage so you need to allow this one and also read the external storage because we want to read the file also and then the last is allow your camera permission here so that's the thing that you need to set don't forget to set up this permission because when you're not give any permission for these three permission your application will be getting crashed and let's go back to here uh, this is the multi image speaker so i use this multi image speaker because i want to show you how to upload with the multiple image not just for single image so i use this package and then this is the maximal image that you can choose from the image picker maybe we can set for two image for our application and then here yeah, okay and this is the set state and then that will be return okay that's good 
Alright. Okay, now and over here I create the image and to showing image that you choose from the image picker. So I will show you how this work. So when I choose this image and then click done as you can see here the image that we choose is showing on below here okay this is the widget that i create for handle the thumbnail of uh, our image and then yep so that's good now i think that we need to do is implement this function of save button uh, so in this function method we need to call image picker and then we doing the looping for each just give the image a set then looping through this one okay let's just declare variable for final file path so we will call the path first and is await await flutter absolute okay then get absolute path this is for image asset from identifier okay that's good and then another final is file wait get image file from asset and file path okay i think i missed something uh, we need to give a synchronous here that's good let's do next directory directory and path this is for path directory that we work for uh, local storage and then get application document just like this and then um, string for path upload we will call this path and path good so let's create final string file name path upload we call path upload and then give a uh, image or yes this image and then we mention the looping number for the name of image that we store into local storage okay just the string then plus dot uh, png okay that's good then is the let just declare a file uh, so time wait i think we need to uh, copy yes just file dot copy then call the file name that's good don't forget to set the value of looping here okay great okay now we already create for save function here just click save for this one all right there is something error over here okay and implemented this is so let's just try to restart our application now let's do this 
this again and pick the image one and just take this one good and let's just try to save okay that's good yay now upload the success and then we need to implement this load image because this is load image function it's not working now we need to load where is the load load image okay here is the function that we need to implement here i already set for loading as a true so when they are so when i'm click this uh, load image the loading will be showing up okay now let's just give a delay for uh, loading for several seconds delay and then cons duration give a uh, sec two second it's enough i think then let's call uh, the image uh, direct directory we call directory for the path and a weight of get sorry get application document directory oops directory good and now let's set state good we are doing looping for this one integer this one and then i less than three i plus plus okay that's good string path upload sorry just path file path dot path then string of file name path file is image and then plus i to string it's good then dot png okay okay file the file here is we call file from the file name path and file name file name it's good and after that we need to store this file into our variable of image storage image storage just add and then time file that's good Oop. just type over here that's really good and once looping done we need to set is load to false okay okay that's good so now let's just uh, restart our application again then okay let's just try to upload the image again uh, let's just uh, click the image or just the image i think that's enough okay then click done and the image will show in over here then let's try to save the image okay the image upload success and now let's just load the image that we already upload into our application so let's see okay that's good but what happened over here uh, the image still have a same image so there is something that we miss in here so let's just check the method save um i think the, the counter number over here is not very so we need to move uh, uh to the upside here 
so let's just try to save and oops sorry uh, let's just uh, try to restart our application again so now let's uh, test again click this one and click the image and done okay this is the image that we upload and let's just click save okay this is the successful let's load the image what we got here wow now it's work so this is how to upload the image into local storage using flutter so when you're working with the application that you need to store your image into local storage of your application so you can follow this tutorial and yep i think that's all from me i hope you like this video and if you have a trouble when you follow this tutorial don't be hesitant to write your comment below and yep don't forget to subscribe to keep support my channel more grow up and i will update more video for you okay thank you for me and see you next video